Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a new feature on the M1 Mark III that's not on the M1 Mark II. And it really solves a very annoying problem I used to have with the M1 Mark II. Also, I'm going to show you another trick to really extend your battery life when you're in the field because it's directly tied to the EVF and Live View system. But it's not very straightforward how it's set up or how it works, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I've already done a full factory reset on the camera so we can all be on the same page. And now let me show you what the annoying problem is and then how we can fix it. So I need to get a little closer to the camera. All right, so let me show you this annoying problem. So I'm holding the camera like I normally do. And sometimes you get into a tight spot and you need to bring the camera in closer to your body. And you can see the monitor turns off because the eye sensor is now detecting your body, which is, you know, the normal behavior, right? But that's really annoying. And another common thing I like to do is a lot of times I'll tilt the screen out so I can see it at an angle. And then I like to get in really tight, maybe for stability. And same, same problem, right? I bring it in, it turns off. But what's more annoying than that is let's say I want to do touch to focus, right? If I bring my hand over to touch the screen, you can see it, my hand passes over the eye sensor and now I have to kind of angle my hand in a, in a way that it doesn't cross the eye sensor path. Or, you know, I, go, I want to change a setting in the super control panel and it turns off every time. So I've had to kind of either learn to like come up underneath the camera to touch the screen or I would turn the EVF off the auto switching off altogether and then just manually switch it, switching by pushing the uh, live view button here. So let's go into that and I'll show you. So as you can see, every time I put my finger near the eye sensor, the live view turns off and goes to the EVF. So on the EM1 Mark II, I used to just go into the custom menu and I would go into menu I. And the easy way to remember where the EVF menu is is the letter I is phonetically the same as your I, right? So that's how I remember I is for the EVF menu. And then I would just go in here and turn the EVF auto switching to off. So now when I put my finger, the live view stays on. And this is how I used to operate. Then when I wanted to switch back to the EVF, I could just manually switch this way and now the EVF is on. And I would just toggle back and forth. But with the EM1 Mark III, they've kind of solved this little problem. So let's go back into the menu and you, it's over here. You may have noticed this says on one. So that would sort of imply there's an on two. Now there's no on three, so there's only on one and on two. And when you read this, it says, enable the eye sensor when the monitor is closed. And the EVF button here, the live view button, gets toggled on and off pushing this button. So let's click OK. So now we're on on two. But look, you see that? It still, it still goes on and off. So people are like, I, I can see where it's confusing. What's the difference between on one and on two? Well, the confusing part here is that when they say the monitor is, clo is closed, the eye sensor will work. Technically, right now, the monitor is still closed. This is in a closed position. Intuitively, you would think this is a closed position, right? However, it doesn't matter which way the live view is facing up. The monitor is in a closed position, closed up against the camera. The open position is actually this. So if I turn this and tilt this up, you'll notice my finger is not turning the monitor on and off anymore. So now when I bring the camera up close to my body, or even if it's not close, if I have this monitor tilted out, I can reach over without turning 
the live view on and off. And then I can turn the super control panel on and change things or touch the focus, touch to take a picture, etc. This was really annoying when I had the EM1 Mark II, especially like when I was on a tripod and I'm always bringing my hand up, you know, to change settings and things via the touch screen or touch the focus, etc. cetera. Uh, so that's what the ON2 does, is it disables the eye sensor when the monitor is in an open position. Now on the M1 Mark II, when the monitor is fully flipped all the way around like this, then the eye sensor is turned off anyway. But the ON2 on the M1 Mark III allows you to be kind of in this position where the monitor is tilting slightly up and as you can see, the, the, uh, the live view doesn't turn on and off. All right, now let me show you how to maximize the battery life. And this is something really actually available on most Olympus cameras. So we'll go into the menu, go down here to custom menu, and we'll go into J, uh, J2. And I like to think of J as just mostly junk because I rarely go into this menu. But you'll see the normal sleep settings here. Backlight LCD is on hold right now, but we can change that to eight seconds. And sleep mode, we can tell the camera to automatically go to sleep in one minute, three minutes, or five minutes. And then also here, and then the auto power off to completely power off, uh, where you'll have to turn the switch off and back on to get the camera to come on. But there's the quick sleep mode here. And it just says here, when not in live view, camera will enter sleep mode in a matter of seconds. So let's turn that info box off. So, okay, that sounds good. So let's turn this on. And you'll notice a little arrow here that we can do more options. So we have backlit LCD, turn off after eight seconds, and sleep mode in 10 seconds. So we'll just, we'll change this actually to three seconds, the shortest interval. And sleep mode, we can go up to one minute but let's knock that down to three seconds also. And we'll make sure that's on. So now quick sleep mode is on. So you would think after three seconds, at least the backlit LCD will turn off. But what you actually have to do is toggle the live view button here by pushing that. Now you'll see that the camera went off within three seconds. And then I can just tap the shutter button and the camera will come back on. Then three seconds later, it'll turn back off and go back to sleep. And this is how people save a lot of battery life uh, when they're out in the field. Because is uh, some, some people used to practice just turning the camera off between every shot, but now you don't have to do that. You can just use this quick sleep mode. But you have to turn the live view off. Not the monitor. The monitor is actually what displays the live view. So if we look at the description again, let me take it out. If we look at the description again, you'll see that it says, when not in live view, camera will enter sleep mode. So now we're in live view. The camera is going to default back to the original sleep mode. It's not going to rapidly go into quick sleep mode. So let's uh, turn live view off by activating the control panel. And you see anything different other than it just turning off in three seconds? There's a little green eco icon there. That's telling you that the camera's in quick sleep mode. And like I said, people have said they shoot for days like this by letting the camera go to sleep very quickly between each shot. Which makes sense if you're out hiking and stuff. You're not constantly taking pictures sometimes, right? Uh, but hopefully that makes sense. So let's go into the menu. Turn quick sleep mode off. Like so. And this is normally how I shoot. But now look at the super control panel. There's no eco icon here. And now I can turn the live view back on and we're back in normal shooting mode. Well, I hope you all found that helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. 
And if you'd like to see more videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. And hopefully we'll see you again soon.